Hi everyone, this is Billy from DP Golf Studio. Today we will do a comparison between a stock shaft and aftermarket shaft. For the aftermarket shaft, I chose the Acura CS1. Compared to other aftermarket shafts, the CS1 is very simple and classy. But if I'm spending so much money on the shaft, I'm actually hoping that it will stand up a little bit. The CS1 claims to be best suited for drivers that are low spin and low launch. That's why I bought along with the Callaway Wolf Sub-Zero. I've been playing the Hazardous Black stock shaft for almost a year. I don't see any problem with that. Alright, let's start with the stock shaft. I'm testing with the Bridgestone B30S. Even though this is a stock shaft, I really like the performance, that's why I never thought of changing it. Oh wait, let's switch to the CS1. Let's hope that it's worth the money. I wasn't expecting that. It has an outstanding feeling and it's just very stable from butt to tip, which is unreal. Usually when I try to hit hard, uh, I get a lot of duck hook, but for the CS1, it gave me a feeling from its consistency that I have a lot of margin for error. I was surprised that the aftermarket shaft actually had, had a way higher spin rate, but that's due to my strike more than anything else. It's still carrying the ball 4 yards longer than the stock shaft, even though it has a lot more spin. This version is also better, 
but um, I'm just talking about minor difference between the two shafts. Is it worth upgrading? It depends. If money is not an issue, next time you go custom fitting, remember to give the CS1 a try. It's just a great shaft.